Hello YouTubers, um, today I'm going to unbox my Wiccan Fable. Um, I got this because I'm a big Shadow Hunters fan and that was the theme for the month of January. I know this is a little bit late, but uh, they sent me an email saying, what did you think of the box? And I'm like, oops, I haven't unboxed it yet. Alright, the first thing I see, which it must have not fit into the box, is this little sparkly tissue wrapper item. That's pretty, and I recognize the artist. It's a little notebook, and it says, sorry, my daughter. <laughs> One must always be careful of books and what is inside Dad, them, for words started. have the power to change us by Cassandra Clare. And it's just really beautiful. It's got lined pages back. inside, and then it's got this on the back. I believe that's Stella Bookish Art, which I love her stuff. All right, now let's look at what's in here. The box is really pretty. It's got, you know, the different Shadow Hunter runes on it. Let's see if I figure out how to open it. All right, inside there's some more sparkly tissue paper. Oh, that's pretty. The little card, the spoiler card, looks like this. That's really neat. Oh, and it says everything that's in there. So that's pretty cool. My daughter's taking the little <laughs> stuff. Ooh. Oh, this is really pretty. It's a little necklace. With the rune, and then it's got wings, which is fitting. And then the next thing I see is a magnet. I have to look and see who that is. It looks like it might be Isabel. I can um, It just says Magnetic Bookmark by Barely Paper Company. So I'm going to say that looks a lot like Isabel. No more. And the necklace. Ah. Hmm. I'm not sure. Um, the Mag Magnus and Alec print. I haven't gotten to that yet. <laughs> All right, let's keep on going in the box, and then we'll go through this card. All right, it looks like we got some pins. It smells really good in here. Alright, the first pin says, love, as long as there is love and memory, there is no true loss. And the next one says, we live and breathe words. Alright, the next thing I see is the little tea, herbal tea, with like the shadow hunter runes on it. Now, I'm not going to open it right now because my daughter will get into it, but I'm excited to try that out. All right, the first candle I'm getting out, which is the bigger candle, and it's called Shadow Hunters. And there's the artwork on it. You can see Clary's red hair. And it smells really good. It looks like this. It's got a nice blue color. But yeah, Shadow Hunters. And then it has a little quote on it. it says, heroes aren't always the ones who win. Wicked Fable. Alright, now I've got four small candles. The first one is the Institute. And it says, I thought it was a church. Because that's not confusing. And it's got a nice pretty purple color. Woo, that smells like it might be coffee or something. Ooh. All right, the next candle I see is Downworlders, and it's got a picture of a wolf on there, which I really like the Downworlders. Well, the can't talk today. I love the Downworlders in the book. Sorry, I can't talk. Oh, that smells good. 
It's a nice white color. Alright, and the next thing I see, um, it says, um, I'm going to say this wrong too, I know I am, um, but I know what it is because I read it all the time in the books, but it's pr probably, <laughs> wherever we are, we are as one, and it's basically this link you have between another, and, well, I wouldn't give her like that. Oh, it smells good. Oh, look at that. I actually have a pin with that rune on, too. Alright, the next thing I see is the Mortal Instruments, which that would make sense. And it shows the sword. Ooh, that one's got like a sea mist scent to it. And then, it says I was supposed to have an Alec print. But I don't see that print. So I must have. Uh... Anyway, there's supposed to be a print in there too, but I don't see it. But this one's really cool. Um, so the first one from Wick and Fable is the probably, probably, probably. I need to figure out how to sound that out, but um, I know what it means. And it comes, it's with a uh, begmont, jasmine, and smoky warm spices. I'm a mouthy. The other one is the I'm mortal instruments, and that's soft breeze, green amber, and musk. And the other one was New York I'm Institute, which is dark chocolate I'm and coffee. And then there's the downworlders, which is uh, red wine I'm and applewood. And then there's Shadow Hunter's Candle, which is black leather and verbena. And then the mortal tea ingredients is apple, rose hips, hibiscus, cram elderberries, ginger, pomegranate, pear, lime juice, and sea salt. And it was supposed to come with a magnet, Magnus and Alec print, but I didn't get that. I it must have just slipped out. But that's from Mitski Chun. And the magnetic bookmark is by Barely Paper Company, which I've gotten stuff from them before. And I got a notebook designed by Stellish Bookish Art, which I love her stuff. The buttons are also designed by Stellish Bookish Art. Um, the bonus typography designed by Arathar Heart, which I'm assuming maybe that's the necklace. And the spoiler card, which I'm holding, which I did get that. Is by Nocturnath A Art. I will have to leave a link down below because I probably butchered some of those names. But this is a really cool box. I love the Shadow Hunter Shadow Hunters, and I love this box. And I can't wait to burn these. They'll be really nice. Um, I have to wait till the kiddos are in bed. But uh, if you like this box, they have a different theme each month, and they also have uh, just various. Um, candles on their website, but um, I believe their box for March. I'm not sure if it's up. Their February one was um, uh, something about um, shadows of magic. Uh, I just know I haven't read those yet. It's on my TBR though. All right, um, that is all for my Shadow Hunters box, um, and you have a wonderful night. Thanks for watching.